for the on air. Thank you very much. I'm glad you people are here today. You know, I'm going to forgive this as a sign of Southern ignorance because this is exactly why I left Texas and went to New York City. Today is a very, very big day for John Bradshaw Layfield. Because if this is indeed a meritocracy, then today I will be the recipient of the Kurt Angle Great American Award. Because who better than to represent America than me. And I promise, I guarantee you, I will prove without a shadow of a doubt today why I deserve this award. Take that to the bank. Last Thursday on SmackDown, Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> proved he was the complete antithesis of what any American should be when he stole my cowboy hat. committed a crime. You know, that's a misdemeanor in some states. In others, it's a felony. Because these hats cost me $1,000. Now, when I grew up in West Texas, $1,000 was a lot of money. And I'm sure to all of you people out here, $1,000 is a fortune. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being poor. A lot of times it's just a sign of bad education, okay? You can work your way out of it. Look at me. I moved to New York City. Now John Bradshaw Layfield. JBL, my friends call me. You can call me John Bradshaw Layfield. I live on Central Park. I overlook the Natural History Museum. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. It's a great setting. And $1,000 to me is really just front pocket money. I don't have to go in my wallet for things like my designer clothes, for my New York City nightlife, for my luxury hotel suites, for an occasional escort service. Hey, I'm a male. But most importantly, it's for things like my customized white limousine. You know, that gives me a hell of an idea. I'm going to show you people what $1,000 means to me right now. Who wants to earn $1,000 right now? Who? All you have to do is Paco, Paco, stop. Stop right there. You've done a great job, but stop, Paco. Thank you. Thank you. All you have to do is finish Paco's job and wax the hood of my limousine in 60 seconds. Now I feel like Money Hall. Let's make a deal. Who wants to earn $1,000 from John Bradshaw Lakeville? You know, that's just what's wrong with welfare in society. Now you cheer me that I'm handing out money. That's typical. 
but who wants to earn $1,000 right here? Latino Heat, you, come here, come here. Cross over that rail. I'm sure you're used to crossing borders. Come on, come on. Son, we ain't got all day, it's a two hour show. Now get up here. Get in the ring. What's your name? Enrique. Piece of advice, go by the name Ricky, all right? You're in the United States. You wanna earn $1,000? All right, take over for Paco. I'll put a stopwatch on you, let's see what happens. Come on, Ricky, let's make a deal. Paco, you got a replacement right here. I tell you what, Ricky, wait just a minute. I got a Rolex time right here. But you know what? These people may not believe me. So how about this? Can we get a clock put up right here? Perfect. We had technology like that on the border. We wouldn't have some of these problems. I tell you what, when I say go, you clean this within 60 seconds, you get $1,000. All right? Wow. One, two, three, go. Come on, Ricky, this is more money you can make in a whole summer of hauling hay. <laughs> Come on, it's more than you can make in three months of pouring concrete. Ricky's working hard, look at him go. Come on, Ricky, Mama Cena's gonna be happy with you. Come home with a thousand dollars. 40 seconds, Ricky. I want it spick and span. Don't get on the horns, watch the horns. 30 seconds, Ricky, you're gonna get there. You got half a minute and you make $1,000. You're almost there. Don't miss the spot now. Ricky, I think you're gonna do it. I think you're gonna make $1,000 to take home. Hey, you're missing a little spot right here, okay? Wait, oh. Ricky, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, right, wait. You still got nine seconds. Hurry, Ricky, you can do it. You can, I'm sorry, Ricky. Oh, yeah. Careful, don't get in my custom suit. You can do it. You can do three. Come on, Ricky, two seconds. Came close. Came close. Pet I'm sorry, star. Ricky. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, Ricky. Watch the horns. Now be, be careful. Don't touch me with that. This $3,000 suit. Careful, careful. I thought you had it. You just had a little mishap. But you know, sometimes mishaps in life define you. Let me give you an example. Ninth game of my college football career, I broke my ankle. I played on that the ninth and tenth game. I made consensus All-American. Sometimes you just work harder and you work smarter. Now, I probably should give you this money. I really should. But, Ricky, that was really a half a job. Now, I know you're poor and you're probably uneducated, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's what's wrong with society. You can't look to people like me for a handout just because you don't do a job very well. I'm sorry. Run along. Enjoy the show. It's a nice t-shirt. Go on. This proves my point, folks. You work harder and you work smarter like I have. Then you get what I have. People like you should strive to be people like me. John Bradshaw Layfield, a great, great American. Oh, give me a break. The poor kid Ricky gets nothing. He had the hood oh, wax. Oh, oh, the, the, Bradshaw stuck it to man, it. The kid didn't finish the job, Cole. I mean, that's where it works. He gave the Bradshaw gave the kid an opportunity. The kid failed. How that's can all. Bradshaw call the price tag on the big time?